How in the world does a fast food chicken restaurant run out of fried chicken sandwiches? Well, Popeyes broke the news to its customers with this slickly produced video. Take a listen. When you get like five million people, six million people on social media talking about this sandwich is good. What? No. We're sold out of chicken sandwich. We sold out in four hours. So what happened here? And when will the new sandwich be back? Well, let's ask Jose Sill. He's the CEO of Restaurant Brands International, which bought Popeyes for $1.8 billion two years ago. So great to have you with us. The burning question is, have you really run out? When will they be back? When can we get our hands on a new, a new batch of them? Good morning, uh, Julia. Great to be here. Uh, yes, we really have run out. Um, look, we, we do a lot of work and, and behind the scenes when we uh, develop new products and we've been working on a on a great tasting chicken sandwich at Popeyes for for quite some time we have an amazing group of uh, of chefs a culinary team that's been working on this for for over a year and we started to test it uh, back in uh, about 10 months ago in Houston and then we've tested it in other markets as well the idea when we test uh, products in markets is to make sure we understand preference uh, of the product relative to our competitors but also to understand operational challenges supply chain and we do a lot of forecasting and preparation in advance of a national launch uh, to make sure we're ready to deliver that product uh, at, at big volumes all across the country. We did this, and we've done this many, many times over the years. We work with our franchisees. We work with a supply chain team. We had, I think we missed one thing. We didn't expect to break the Internet. And, uh, <laughs> and as a result, we had the entire nation uh, really excited about the, the Popeye's chicken sandwich. And, uh, and, and as a result, we ran out much sooner than uh, we anticipated. I mean, so for all the preparation, the forecasts here were just plain wrong. How rare is this to be so off site on your forecasts? And, and can you tell us how many sandwiches you've actually sold in order to completely run out here? We, we had very ambitious forecasts. We, we planned to be uh, on television and uh, nationally and to, to really be out there for quite some time building awareness. Uh, of this chicken sandwich. So we, we, we had very ambitious forecasts. I've been in the business 20 years. I've talked to many of our franchise partners uh, across the country uh, that, that have been in the business uh, you know, 40, 50 years in some cases. None of them have ever seen anything like this. I, I think it's akin to, to what happened when, uh, when the iPhone was launched back uh, about 10, 12 years ago. No one expected that type of, uh, of reaction. And, and we've, had, uh, we've had people lining up in restaurants before the restaurant opens to, to be able to, uh, to, to get the chicken sandwich. We've had uh, municipalities in Nevada, uh, for example, Henderson, Nevada. We had a municipality shut us down because we were creating too much traffic uh, in the neighborhood. So it's, it's not something that uh, we, we had anticipated. We prepare for everything. We now have added a new, check, a new item to our checklist. Uh, what happens if we break the internet? Okay, so Talk me through the situation right now, because there are some skeptics. There's conspiracy theories here that, you know, you can still produce some of the other chicken products here. You can still produce biscuits and yet you can't produce a burger. So just fight back against the skeptics here that are saying this is another PR campaign. And to your point, you know, social media won for you here, but this isn't another PR, uh, PR um, approach here that you're taking. Well, it, we, we are producing uh, chicken uh, in, in order to, to be able to deliver the chicken sandwich. The question is, uh, how much can we produce and, and can we meet the demand that's out there? And so the, the, it's, a, it's a math uh, equation. We're working to, uh, through that with our uh, supply chain teams and our suppliers as well. And we're ramping up production uh, all across the country to be able to meet uh, what we expect to be continued high demand uh, for this amazing chicken sandwich for, for uh, quite some time. So. The, the, the issue for us is, is not disappointing our guests. And so if we don't have enough to meet the demand, uh, we're going to continue to, uh, to disappoint guests that are, that are uh, really uh, dying to try the, try the product. So we're making sure that we, we have enough product uh, at the supplier, at the distribution centers, and in the restaurants to be able to meet uh, what we've seen to be uh, a, a very strong demand for, for this amazing tasting product. Jose, very quickly, this all blew up on social media because Chickafee basically challenged your sandwich and said theirs was better. Did they win the chicken wars for you here? I, I think the, the consumers, uh, the consuming public in the U.S., uh, they won the chicken wars. They had a chance to try an amazing new chicken sandwich. We, we brought a new great tasting product uh, to, uh, to the U.S. 
Uh, we think uh, we brought uh, awareness to, uh, to, to Popeyes and, and the great tasting uh, chicken that we have at Popeyes, not just the sandwich, but our, our bone in chicken. We've been doing this for, uh, since 1972. And we have great tasting uh, spices uh, in our product. It's, it's been, our heritage has been food uh, quality and, and culinary uh, focus for, for many, many decades. And so I think the winning uh, folks here in this chicken war is, uh, is, is the consumer. They got to try an amazing <laughs> new product that's coming back very soon. I right, see. So thank you so much for that, Tosi Sil. Now we just have to try one. Thank you. <laughs>